16代目のクラウン日本の歴史に重ね合わせればそれは明治維新ですご覧ください新しい時代の幕開けです Toyota has made its mark as the world's largest manufacturer of automobiles but recent advancements in the electric vehicle industry and the fast growth of new automobile companies have posed a threat to Toyota's influence in the market in response to his threat Toyota just developed a new engine to completely destroy its competitors and the fast growing EV industry. What makes this engine special? How will it shape the automobile industry? Join us as we unveil this new engine that will destroy the entire electric vehicle industry. The engine that changes everything. Toyota sold more cars in 2023 than ever before, but electric vehicles had a rather small impact on its growth. Out of the 11,233,039 vehicles delivered by the Japanese conglomerate, only about 104,018 were electric vehicles. In general, just about 0.926% of the cars sold by Toyota and other automobile companies like Lexus last year were battery EVs. Considering that, the company reckons there's still a need for combustion engines. The company chairman believes people should have a choice rather than be forced to buy electric vehicles. During a speech in front of 200 corporate managers and executives, Chairman Akio Toyota proclaimed ongoing plans for a major engine development project. His statement reaffirms an announcement made at the 2024 Tokyo Auto Salon, where he took great advantage of the opportunity to tell everyone that they will keep doing engines. During the Q&A session, Toyota expressed his belief that despite technological advancements, battery EVs will not be able to exceed a market share of 30%. As a result, the remaining 70% will be represented by ICE cars, hybrids, and fuel cell EVs. The chairman also stated in his speech that hydrogen-burning combustion engines could eventually offer a solution. Diesel was not mentioned. He further stated That they have reached the point where a new combustion engine announcement becomes realizable. He explained that in 2024, automakers seem to be predominantly focused on revealing plans for new EVs, and some even go as far as claiming they'll cease production of ICE cars in the coming years. Some examples of automakers he referenced were brands like Jaguar, Chrysler, Lotus, Aston Martin, Bentley, Buick, Cadillac, Rolls Royce. Genesis, Maserati, Mini, Opel, Vauxhall, and Volvo, which he claims have committed to becoming purely electric by the end of the decade, and even Toyota's Lexus brand has pledged to halt sales of cars with combustion engines by 2035. Also, in Europe, Stellantis promises to sell only EVs by the decade's end. Mercedes intends to go fully electric on the old continent by 2030. But only where market conditions allow. Arc rival Audi will stop making cars with combustion engines in 2032. BMW still needs to set a cutoff date. The Volkswagen Core brand aims to make EVs only in Europe starting in 2033. However, according to him, Toyota sees things differently, believing battery EVs can be one of many solutions to achieve carbon neutrality. Akio Toyota mentioned that the charging infrastructure needs to be ready, pointing out that they had considered that a billion people live without electricity worldwide. And since Toyota sells cars in those regions, going all in on EVs would not be palatable. Hence their indulgence in making hydrogen powered engines. Over the years, Toyota has proven to be a major tech hub, and there is no doubt that the new internal combustion would be mind blowing. What makes this new engine special? The new hydrogen powered internal combustion engines. How will the new hydrogen power engine work? In its full potential, a water powered engine expresses the energy potential of water as a fuel source. Although the idea of an engine running on water may seem unreal, Toyota proves its possibility by turning it into reality. The basic efficiency behind this technology lies in utilizing water as a fuel. But how does one extract energy from water, a seemingly impossible substance? The answer lies in water's molecular structure. 
Water, scientifically represented as H2O, consists of two hydrogen atoms that come together to form one oxygen atom. Unlocking the energy stored within water involves separating hydrogen atoms from oxygen using electrolysis. This method involves using an electric current to break down water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen has proven to be an exceptional fuel due to its high energy density over time. Upon combustion, it releases significant energy, similar to conventional gasoline-powered engines. However, unlike gasoline, hydrogen combustion produces only water vapor as a byproduct, making it environmentally friendly and safe. Toyota is working on engines that use water, not just to be eco-friendly, but also because it's investing heavily in new technology. However, there are some things that could be improved to make these engines more practical. They need to make systems that split water better, find safe ways to store hydrogen, and make engines that can use hydrogen well. Still, because Toyota is good at developing new ideas, these problems don't seem impossible. These new water-powered engines could significantly change how cars work. They could also cut down on pollution and help fight climate change. Toyota isn't only focusing on water-powered engines, it's also looking at hybrid and fuel cell technologies, showing that it cares about keeping things sustainable. What's special about Toyota's idea is that their engines run on plain old distilled water, so you don't need fancy stuff like electric or hydrogen cars. This makes things easier for people who use electric cars, as they won't have to worry about finding charging stations all the time. It's also simpler than hydrogen refueling, making it easier for everyone. Toyota's switch to using distilled water in cars could make driving cheaper and greatly change the car industry. It's a big step toward making transportation more eco-friendly and available everywhere. Their smart way of thinking aligns with the world's needs. Ways to get around that don't harm the environment. Water and hydrogen-powered engines are real solutions to reduce pollution and could even challenge electric cars in the future. Toyota's emphasis on hydrogen and water-powered technologies challenges the norms within the electric vehicle industry by providing rapid refueling akin to traditional gasoline vehicles and expanding consumer options for sustainable transportation. By aligning with global environmental objectives, Toyota is paving the way for a future where transportation goes beyond mere destination reach embracing sustainability and environmental harmony as inherent principles. The battery is a very important aspect to modify. Many experts wonder and ask questions like, can the hydrogen-powered performance be compared to that of its traditional gasoline counterparts? And would the driving experience be appealing? Persistently, Toyota has developed a mind-blowing invention, the Dynamic Force engine family, which uses less fuel. This particular engine is known to power some of their models, like the Corolla and the Camry. This makes the fact that Toyota can strike a balance between power and durability more pronounced. In 2024, Toyota is said to be working on something big, which will be great as usual. This time, they are working on their recent engine modification, which is to be powered by hydrogen and water. And this is a big change to how regular engines are made. This engine could change how cars are powered and only emit water vapor when driven. It is designed to cut emissions, save gas, and preserve the environment by making it eco-friendly. The power the engines possess makes them even greater. Many experts and customers ask how this engine will work and what it will be like to drive a water-powered car. And giving answers to the questions could change how the world envisions driving. Toyota is the first to come up with such a shift in their new automotive revolution, and people are eager to see where the outcome will be. The world is in a new era where people are more accepting of electric cars and desire to own one. Due to that, Toyota's hydrogen-powered internal combustion engine stands out as an important and relevant advancement. This lead idea from Toyota is based on using hydrogen as a fuel for combustion engines. Questions such as what makes it different from the usual gasoline engines and electric vehicles may arise. Also, why hydrogen, and how does it work differently from hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles? 
like the Toyota Mirai, which is known to produce electricity through chemical reactions. Toyota's hydrogen combustion engines are known to burn hydrogen directly, which likely works like gasoline engines. Due to that, the direct combustion method has a unique advantage. It produces almost zero CO2 emissions, has very little trace of engine oil used during driving, and produces few nitrogen oxides because of the intake of oxygen from the air. However, the emissions are drastically lower than those of traditional internal combustion engines. The capability of the performance of the engine running or being powered by hydrogen is based on the engine's design. Toyota went the extra mile by enhancing the 1.6-liter turbocharged three-cylinder engine, which is normally found in models like the GR Yaris and the GR Corolla, and modified it to accommodate the hydrogen fuel. This also entails integrating a large fuel tank for high-pressure hydrogen storage, a re-engineered fuel supply, and the injection system. A fascinating factor is that hydrogen combustion happens faster than petrol, which offers the potential of a highly responsive engine, which is very important and beneficial in motorsport applications and use. For real-world applications, Toyota has been very concerned with testing and refining technology to suit the demands of motorsports. The Corolla Sport race car, which has the hydrogen-powered G16 EGTS race engine, has displayed impressive performance metrics. That is because of hydrogen's fast combustion rate, which provides a more responsive race engine experience, proving that hydrogen can be a tested option for fuel sources known for high-performance applications. Toyota's main goal for creating this technology is not solely to create a new engine type, but to create sustainability and achieve carbon neutrality by 2050. To achieve all these, Toyota sees hydrogen combustion engines as an important factor or step to achieving its aims. They also look beyond automotive applications and collaborations to address hurdles faced in green hydrogen production and infrastructure development. But this miscellaneous approach targets Toyota's belief in the potential of hydrogen as a main element in changing to a carbon-neutral society. They intend to carry this out by combining familiar engine designs of traditional engines with the environmental benefits of hydrogen. This way, Toyota not only changes the current automotive perception, but also redefines and pronounces sustainable transportation. Toyota, which is efficient in manufacturing incredible engines, has developed the 1.6-liter turbo engine, which is used in the Corolla Cross Hydrogen prototype. This particular engine stands for a blend of traditional design and cutting-edge technology, making it a wonder of engineering prowess due to the engine found in the GR Yaris, known for its great performance and agility, and the adaptation to hydrogen fuel that needed improvement. The main challenge was maintaining the engine's performance while transitioning to a different fuel source. To address this challenge, Toyota implemented a high-pressure hydrogen direct injection system, departing from the traditional fuel injection system. This particular system ensures certain precise controls of hydrogen delivery into the combustion chamber while managing performance and efficiency. Despite the great properties of hydrogen, including its low density compared to gasoline, the one. 6L engine delivers competitive power and torque figures. The turbocharged engine plays an important role in ensuring the engine delivers the necessary boost for high performance. However, more than turbocharging is needed to handle hydrogen's properties. So, to overcome these challenges, the engineers had to optimize the turbocharger and other engine components for the unique features of hydrogen fuel. One important aspect of this engine is its work power. A hydrogen combustion engine has the power to achieve higher efficiencies compared to traditional engines, especially under high load conditions. This translates into better fuel economy and a great reduction in emissions, with water vapor as the only byproduct of hydrogen combustion. The engine achieves near zero emissions, making it an environmentally safe alternative. This enhancement displays Toyota's commitment to new ideas and sustainability in the automotive industry. Also, 
The development of the engine shows Toyota's dedication to pushing the boundaries of technology and engineering excellence. This is done by successfully integrating hydrogen fuel technology into a high-performance engine. This way, Toyota has positioned itself as the pioneer in alternative fuel propulsion systems. The Corolla Cross Hydrogen prototype is good news for Toyota's holistic approach to being sustainable. Apart from reducing emissions, hydrogen fuels offer the potential for greater energy efficiency and reduced reliance on fossil fuels. The investment in hydrogen fuel technology extends beyond just the automotive sector. The company is actively developing hydrogen infrastructure, such as fueling stations, to assist the widespread adoption of hydrogen-powered vehicles. The achievement of Toyota with the 1.6-liter turbo engine in the Corolla Cross Hydrogen prototype stands for a great improvement in automotive engineering with its coming together of traditional design and pioneering technology, along with its efficiency and environmental benefits. This engine sets a standard for sustainable mobility in the automotive industry. But what exactly does this idea involve? How will it work? And what rules support this possible futuristic technology? How efficient is this new engine? The hydrogen-powered engines can meet the performance of their gasoline counterparts. The key is in hydrogen's nature as fuel. When hydrogen burns, it burns much faster than gasoline, and this rapid combustion makes the engine highly responsive, which is very important for driving performance. In a conventional internal combustion engine, drivers usually expect an immediate throttle response, a distinctive engine growl, and a sense of power. Hydrogen-powered vehicles like Toyota's can duplicate these features even using a cleaner fuel source. Toyota's hydrogen-powered car drivers can still enjoy the familiar feelings of driving a conventional car, including the sound of the engine, which is an important part of the driving experience for many. In racing scenarios, these vehicles also perform very well. And this is known because Toyota has put this hydrogen-powered vehicle to a racing test, proving their reliability and potential for high-performance cars. The vehicles can also compete with traditional racing cars in speed, agility, and endurance. Hydrogen engines can also deliver the same horsepower as gasoline engines. Toyota's 4A into Heisel technology has displayed some promising results. They modify and refine already exhausting designs to accommodate hydrogen fuel. Due to this, Toyota has been able to achieve power outputs that are comparable to and, in some cases, surpass conventional petrol engines. This achievement is not just a technical advancement, it also demonstrates the hydrogen potential as a tested and true alternative for high-performance vehicles. Drivers of Toyota's hydrogen-powered vehicles report a driving experience that is both familiar and interesting. It put together the dynamics of a traditional ICE vehicle with the intent of using a clean and sustainable fuel source. Toyota is bridging the gap between the present and the future of automotive technology by offering vehicles that retain the performance characteristics of conventional ICE vehicles. Whether on the racetrack or as a daily means of transportation, Toyota promises to deliver the performance, feeling, and enjoyment that drivers look forward to in traditional cars and side-by-side, -side, ushering us into a new era of environmental safety. Toyota considered so many other fascinating environmental benefits of hydrogen engines while developing the new engines and also wants the masses to know about them. What could these benefits be? The new engine's impact on the environment Toyota is more concerned about eco-friendly technologies, so the hydrogen-powered internal combustion engines bring forth an interesting proposition. Questions like how these engines compare environmentally to hybrid electric vehicles and plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, and what sets hydrogen engines apart in terms of environmental impact, are answered with the recent explanations of the environmental benefits of hydrogen engines. The main element is the emission profile, which is quite different from that of traditional gasoline engines. They release a significant amount of carbon dioxide, which is a greenhouse gas contributing to global warming. 
Toyota's hydrogen engines produce zero CO2 emissions while in operation. These engines' main emissions are water vapor, making them a very good and clean option when considering greenhouse gas emissions. It is possible to have engines with such minimal environmental impacts because the key lies in the combustion process of hydrogen engines. When hydrogen fuel is used in engines, it reacts with oxygen obtained from the air to produce energy, with water vapor being the only byproduct. This clean process contrasts with the combustion of fossil fuels, where carbon in the fuel then combines with oxygen to produce CO2. Removing CO2 emissions from the tailpipe is an important step towards reducing the automotive industry's environmental causes. HEVs, which combine a gasoline engine with an electric motor, and PHEVs, which can be plugged in to charge their batteries, offer improved fuel efficiency and reduce emissions compared to conventional gasoline vehicles. Despite these, they still rely on gasoline and therefore produce CO2 emissions when in use, although at lower levels than traditional vehicles. In contrast, hydrogen engines offer the qualities of true zero emission driving as long as the hydrogen fuel is obtained sustainably. Another consideration put in place is the life cycle emissions of the vehicles. Again, the HEVs and the PHEVs have batteries that need scarce earth elements and are mostly involved in energy-intensive manufacturing processes. Hydrogen engines avoid these challenges. Hydrogen fuel manufacturing mostly comes from renewable sources like nature, like wind or solar power. Unlike battery manufacturing, it can be less environmentally challenging, offering a more sustainable life cycle in general. A hydrogen combustion engine's efficiency is similar to that of a traditional combustion engine, in some scenarios, it can be slightly higher. This is more important in heavy-duty applications where the work power of hydrogen engines can match that of hydrogen fuel cells. Fuel cells have a high work power peak at low loads and then tend to drop in work power at high loads, unlike hydrogen combustion engines, which have a high peak load. That makes them more suitable for applications where high performance is needed. Technology like Toyota's hydrogen engine comes in handy now as the world struggles with the challenges of climate change and resource decrease, and it offers new hope that promises cleaner and greener transportation without compromising on performance or practicality. Another standard sought to be established by Toyota is the approach to carbon neutrality, where there are no longer carbon footprints. But how can they accomplish this? The Zero Carbon Policy Another important aim of Toyota is to move towards a future where it emits no carbon, and they intend to do that with hydrogen and electric cars. When hydrogen is used in fuel cells or engines, the only thing that comes out is water vapor. That makes it better for the environment than fossil fuels. The plan needs to be more than making hydrogen cars for individuals. It also needs to be for big trucks and buses. They will still eventually get into electric cars, but they are aware that focusing on just electric cars won't be enough because there are still some challenges in having to deal with electric cars, such as how long it takes to charge and the environmental impact of making and getting rid of batteries. Regarding that, Toyota plans to offer different kinds of cars, those with hydrogen fuel cells, those with plug-in hybrid electric cars, and then fully electric cars. That way they can meet the needs of more people and different driving situations. This aiding to emit no carbon can still be an issue in the mind, but Toyota knows the different places and how they have different ways of making energy and different rules about the environment. So what can work well in a particular place might not be able to work in that way in another place. In places where there is a lot of renewable energy, Electric cars might be the very best choice, but in places where they can make hydrogen using renewable energy, hydrogen cars might be better. The idea of offering different types of cars is to give more people the ability to switch to cleaner energy. Toyota isn't just bothered about the cars themselves, but also working on making their factories and using resources cleaner and much better. They are also investing in projects that use renewable energy. Everything, not just the cars, 
should be examined to understand the possible positive outcomes of their projects, like how the energy is being made and how things will be bought. Toyota's aim is a big one. They aren't just trying to make cleaner cars, but also a cleaner society at large. And that would mean changing a lot of things by working on various technologies and making their whole business cleaner. They make a great contribution to that. Despite the promises attributed to the hydrogen engine, some challenges remain that need to be examined and reviewed to avoid chaos. Challenges and powerful potential of hydrogen-powered engines. A significant advancement is that Toyota is leading the way in developing hydrogen engines. However, this doesn't come without challenges. One major challenge is the need for more infrastructure for hydrogen fueling, which pales in comparison to the established networks for gasoline and electric vehicle charging. This is because hydrogen needs specialized storage and distribution systems because of its high flammability and low density. Manufacturing a widespread and accessible hydrogen refueling network needs substantial investment and coordination. Again, a serious challenge is safety because hydrogen's high flammability makes it a risky fuel to handle. Toyota addresses these concerns through its attentive engineering and careful safety protocols. They are developing a huge container system for hydrogen fuel, along with advanced sensor technology meant to detect any form of leakage or prevent accidents. Promoting public safety isn't just about making sure there are rules in place, it's also about teaching people how to handle things safely. This is especially true when it comes to hydrogen, a potentially risky substance if not handled properly. It's important that everyone knows the right way to deal with it to prevent accidents and keep risks to a minimum. That means educating people on how to store it, transport it, and use it safely. But teaching everyone about hydrogen safety isn't easy. It takes a lot of time and resources to make sure everyone gets the message. We have to create training programs that cover all the ins and outs of hydrogen safety and then make sure that information gets out to as many people as possible. Despite these challenges, there's a lot of excitement about the potential of hydrogen engines to change the way we think about cars. These engines offer a cleaner and more sustainable option compared to traditional gas-powered vehicles. Plus, they don't emit any harmful pollutants. And on top of that, hydrogen fuel cells are a really efficient way to store energy, which could help us use more renewable energy sources and keep our power grids stable. If we can overcome the obstacles of educating people about hydrogen safety and make sure everyone is aware of the risks, we can unlock the full potential of this technology while still keeping public safety a priority. It's going to take collaboration between governments, businesses, and schools. But if we work together, we can create a future where hydrogen helps us build a more sustainable transportation system. At first, they offered zero emission transportation, which is important in a world concerned with climate change and pollution, because in that sense, dangerous gases are no longer being released into the air, which will cause people to inhale dangerous gases. That way it will safeguard both the workers, the customers, and nature at large, creating a safer environment for all. Also, hydrogen engines can provide a driving experience comparable to traditional internal combustion engines with high preference without environmental guilt. People have same interesting experience while driving, but this time, driving is more clean and safe. This part is important in maintaining consumer appreciation and acceptance, especially among those hesitant to switch to electric vehicles due to worries about the range and performance. In terms of details, Toyota has been investing seriously in hydrogen fuel cell technology for over two decades. At first, they introduced the Mirai, which is the world's first mass-produced hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle in 2014. Since then, it has undergone several updates and improvements. While internal combustion engines convert only about 20 to 30% of the engine they have stored up on the fuel into mechanical power, hydrogen fuel cells can convert 60% of energy into usable power, making them more environmentally friendly and energy efficient. Thank you for watching this video. 
While you are still here, click the video on your screen to see more mind-blowing videos like this one. Don't forget to like subscribe for more innovative videos.